I'm Dr. Kurt Waters. The NPAC has made nasopharyngeal aspiration a quick, comfortable, and very easy collection method for us here in the clinic and also in the hospital. For practitioners or nurses who have not performed aspiration, this is a very easy technique to learn. This is primarily due to the design of the catheter that is soft, flexible, and essentially self-guiding with age calibrations making it easy to determine the proper distance of insertion. In addition, no additional external suction is required, as the suction mechanism is self-contained in the syringe and the bulb kit, making this a true bedside procedure. I think there are two key points that are important to maximize the specimen collection and the patient comfort. Number one, following the floor of the nose with a catheter until resistance is met in the nasopharynx or the age calibration mark is met in the front of the nose. Number two, patient position. This is not an upright procedure. Patients are much more comfortable in a supine position with their neck extended to allow pooling in the area of the nasopharynx. The sterile syringe aspiration kit includes a pre-filled syringe with sterile saline, a syringe cap, lubricant, and the catheter with lower lock attachment. The volume of saline used for the aspiration may vary from patient to patient and an appropriate amount of saline is then expelled prior to insertion. On average, one to three cc's is used for children and adults. Lubricant can be utilized for patient comfort. Again, positioning is very important and neck extension is strongly recommended as this maximizes the pooling of the saline in the nasopharynx giving a better sample and prevents saline from leaving the nasopharyngeal area. For the aspiration procedure, the patient is asked to hold their breath. The catheter is then passed along the floor of the nose until resistance is met. The syringe is pushed and pulled, and the aspiration is done. The lower lock attachment can then, can then be detached with the cap replaced, and the specimen can then be sent to the lab for further processing. The bulb aspiration kit includes a sterile pre-filled saline bulb, a friction fit catheter, and the bulb cap. In preparation, the catheter must be placed onto the tapered end of the bulb. The tapered end of the bulb has been pre-scored to allow easy detachment of the tapered end. The end is simply pulled off. The friction fit catheter then slides onto the tapered end of the bulb. The volume of saline needed may vary and can be expelled if necessary. With the bulb aspirating technique, again, position is very important with neck extension. The breath is held, the catheter is inserted to the nasopharyngeal level, the bulb quickly compressed and released, and the aspiration is done. The bulb specimen can then be used at bedside with a rapid test kit, directly into biotransport medium, or the bulb sample can be capped with the enclosed cap and sent to the lab for further processing. The NPAC kit has made nasopharyngeal aspiration a much more simplified procedure, allowing us here in the clinic and in the hospital setting to improve patient comfort with a great and reliable specimen.